Kenya is losing its forest at an average of 5,000 uh, hectares per year. And that is really alarming. Kinale has got a, a total area of about 10,504. It is within Kiambu County, also within the Abadeas. Where we are now is the Kijabe block, which is the drier part of Kinale Station. This area we are at used to be composed of many species, indigenous species. We have got an intention of rehabilitating it, if possible, the way it used to be there before. East African Wildlife Society has a forest restoration program which targets to restore at least 600 hectares of degraded forest within Kenya by 2030. And that is coinciding with the UN Decade for Ecosystem Restoration. Uh, in this particular program, we work with government, specifically Kenya Forest Service, and various corporate organizations to be able to restore this degraded forest. Uh, one of the corporates we are working with is BDO East Africa and uh, we have uh, adopted a section of this particular forest with BDO to be able to plant trees. We started this last year. We have only planted 5,000 with BDO and we want to continue with this. Sure, I mean, if you see what's happening around the world and the focus on climate change and environmental sustainability, BDO also plays a part with, to ensure that we can commit to the global agendas of reducing carbon, uh, carbon emissions and, and trying to ensure that we have a more environmentally sustainable uh, business run here. And we have enforced that we start uh, contributing to that agenda where we have firstly looked at planting 10,000 trees locally in Kenya through a CSR initiative supporting the local communities that provides us some opportunity to increase our carbon credit. We looked at purchasing seedlings from the local community. We used the local farmers to assist us in planting. There's a sustainable income that they're able to generate from that perspective. mainly planting. So with BDO, they normally provide us with the seedlings. So the moment we let the seedlings happen, we provide employment to most of the farmers when you munaona wa merima hapa. So it is our mandate. Kuangalia zile miti zisiharibiwa by the grazers ama nyakati kama hizi kuna kiangazi moto isisubue zile seedlings. Hii kazi tumepewa na BDO. Imetusaidia sisi kama community. Tukipewa hizo miche, tukipanda, huwa tunalima bado. Kwa hivyo tunapata chakula in line with our management, we have got a unit called the Community Forest Association. The people bordering the forest, or we see them playing their role in protection of this area. If we plant these trees and move out, we are likely to have a very low survival because of the interference, either from a human being or from animals. Kwa hivyo BDO wakati wanakuja ku rehabilitate in this area wanatuzaidia kitu ya kwanza ku restore masingira kwa hivyo wanyama wapori watarudi tutaweza kutengeneza ecotourism in this area na tena mito yetu yenye inakauka pia tutaweza ku restore the other thing i can say there is change because before upanzi wa miti uwe to was like wilderness but now at least we can see a great change under cop 27 most of the companies have committed to become net zero by year 2050. We at BDO in East Africa have brought this date much earlier. So we are committed to our target and to become net zero by year 2030 and contributing to the environment of Kenya as well as in the region. We want to assure BDO that as East Africa Wildlife Society, we will continue to work with the community here and the Kenya Forest Service to ensure high level of survival for the trees that we plant here. Commitment ni kuchunga hizi miti ambazo zimepandwa na BDO. Kuhakikisha zimekuwa to a level ata wawa kapitani.